Hey dolls, I'm back with another video and this time this is about the Ken dolls, the men dolls, okay? The testosterone that we all need in our lives. I have them because I wanted to do this. I did a video about made to move, um, you know, girls made to move Barbies, but there's not too many people who talk about the Ken dolls. And I know when I first started collecting, I would see people who had pictures with Ken dolls like him, for instance, that was articulated. And I was like, where are they getting these bodies from to make these dolls articulated? So to make a long story short, now it's like a year or so later, and I've articulated some of my Ken dolls myself. So this video is to just show you the different options that I'm aware of as far as getting body swaps for your dolls, okay? So without further ado, I also have two dolls, as you can see. I'm not gonna unbox Finnick because I, <laughs> I already have his bodies on so many other people right now. Um, but I am gonna unbox my Divergent 4 doll, okay? And then I'm also going to tell y'all about this Texas A&M doll. This is the Caucasian one. This is the brown skin one. So I'm going to tell you about both of those. I wish I was doing these types of videos before I open them up so that you could see it. But it's okay. We'll still go ahead. I thought I kept those boxes though now that I think about it. But maybe I did throw them away. I hope I didn't throw away their certificates and stuff. But um, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and open these Show, I'm going to show you these dolls, and then we're going to open up that guy in the back. Alright, so first I want to talk about the options that you have as far as articulating your dolls, okay? The ones that I'm aware of. If anybody's watching this video and you know of another Barbie, please, like, please bless the comment section with your knowledge. Because so far, um, this is all that I know about. So, these two guys that I have right here, these are Texas A&M dolls. I'm going to put a screenshot of how they looked when I first got them. Um, this is how they looked. They're basically, I got them because I had been wanting that doll, but it's so expensive. He usually is like a hundred and something just on his own. I ended up getting both of these dolls for $109 on eBay. So I got them immediately. It was free shipping and that's how I got both of them. When I bought them at the time, he was available on eBay and on Amazon for about $10.00. But the brown skin when he's over here for like a hundred dollars by himself. So that's one thing that I can't stand about it. That's the only reason that I haven't been able to articulate some of my other Ken dolls like him for instance. Because I'm not going to buy him for a hundred dollars just for his body. Like to me that's just kind of ridiculous. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I didn't have him. Even if he, even if I could find this doll for like 30, maybe even 40 dollars, I would buy him for his body. But a hundred dollars just for a body i'm like oh my god it kills me i don't understand why the aa dolls are so much more expensive than the caucasian ones that really is aggravating but anyways my, well maybe i can't think of some reasons but anyways um yeah so i would love to have this so if y'all have seen this guy articulated on instagram more than likely they're probably using this body for him okay now they also have fashion royalty dolls too but i don't know anybody who will buy a fashion royalty doll to put a Ken doll on their body maybe so but fashion royalty dolls are different from Barbie and when you spend that kind of money I kind of think that you want the doll to keep all their body parts so that's probably another option because I know those dolls are articulated I don't have a fashion royalty boy doll yet so I can't speak much on it but that just popped in my head to let y'all know that those dolls are articulated as well I just don't know if they have been used for body swaps and then this guy is another one. Like I said, he used to be $10 on Amazon, but now he didn't went up and I'm so mad at myself because I just assumed that he was always going to be cheap. So if I knew that his, his price was going to double, I would have probably bought like at least like three or four of those dolls. You see what I'm saying? But I only got this one. And the only reason I got him at the time was because I got them as a double deal. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, you have that option. That's the only made to move option I know for this skin tone. Okay, which is unfortunate, but if you wanted to go ahead and articulate this guy, you can see where they probably got his body from. So we're going to put them to the side, and now we're going to talk about these two. Now, Finnick is my most popular guy because Finnick also used to only be like $11. So I have three Finnicks, okay? I'm going to talk about that in a few. And then this guy, he's always been for the price that I've seen him as. I think he was always like around $14, $15 dollars or whatever i got him because i got him from the amazon warehouse deal it, it has different categories like very good 
excellent condition like brand new this one was like not even the top one this was like very good but it came and i'm like i don't i honestly don't see any problems with it like i don't see any problems with this dog or this box at all maybe i guess if you're if you bought him to collect him and not take him out the box but I, I, I was presently surprised because it said that it was in good condition. So I was expecting like maybe a mark or something. But he looks, he doesn't have any issues. So I got him because I had a gift card from one of my clients. Sometimes they give me gift cards to buy stuff. And then after I buy it, I will have a leftover balance. So I ended up paying only probably like $9 for him, which is why I went ahead and got him. And then like I said, Fennec used to be eight dollars but now he's so expensive and he does also come with doll stands as well which is good so that you can have more doll stands for your guys but i wanted to talk about fennec first before i open um the divergent for dude these are the two dolls that i used um that i used fennec bodies for for this doll and then also for this doll which was from a wonder woman set at walmart okay so i wanted to show y'all because i had a question some people were asking me like what body I use for him because as y'all know I have another one that I just got from Goodwill in my haul so this is his original body and then this is how he looked after I put him on Phoenix body and since he's a real light-skinned doll um it, it was cool his complexion matches still you see what I'm saying so I used his body and I kept this dude without his shirt I'm glad I said that the reason I don't have this guy's shirt on is because all Phoenix and all of the um, Texas A&M dolls, they all have the same exact body. So even though this Finnick doll is $11 and this dude is like $100 and something dollars, they have the same exact body. Like it's the same build, okay? So same articulation, same everything. So that's why I wanted to show y'all so that y'all can see how the bodies look. Because I don't feel like taking off their cl everybody's clothes. Um, but yeah, so these are the two that I use. I use Finnick's body for this guy as well and as you can see i put <laughs> i put phoenix head back on this dude <laughs> so these are the molded pants which is why i changed him out in the first place because everybody knows that we hate molded pants for barbies um but yeah this is the body that he was on and as you can see the phoenix head i swapped him out so i had ended up ordering another phoenix since he is I don't know if he still Grace's boo thing or not because Grace is feeling some type of way about this dude. But he used to definitely be for sure Grace's boo thing on the real Barbies of Atlanta. So I needed to still have him without these molded pants, which is why I got him. But now that I have him, I was thinking about doing some body swaps. I'm not sure. I would want to, I kind of have been thinking about body swapping Britney's boyfriend and his brother. Um, but I'm, I'm just not sure about it. I wish I had ordered all of them dolls when they were still like $11. And I definitely would have had them swapped out. But they would match complexions as well, as you can see. Um, so anyways, that's it for Finnick. He does come with the doll stand in this outfit. I got like four of these outfits now that I have him. Um, which I think is cute because it looks like it could be something that people use to run around outside. Or even go to the gym in. So it is a black label collector doll. And then we have this Divergent 4 guy, which I'm going to unbox in this video. Um, and this is my first time having him. He's supposed to have those cool tattoos on his back, which I think is pretty dope. I'm not familiar with Divergent 4. I don't know anything about it. I've never seen it. The only reason I know about it is because I be looking for articulated dolls. Um, but I guess it's from either a series, a TV show, or a movie. Okay, but yeah, so I'm not going to read the back because like I said, I don't know anything about Divergent 4. Anybody who's familiar about it, if it's good, let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. Um, but let me, like I said, Amazon inspected, but it's in perfect condition. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out the box so that I can compare him to these bodies. And when I originally got him, I was hoping that he was going to be like a little bit darker. But it seems like he might be the same complexion as these dolls. So I'm going to open him up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have him out of the box, we can see him better. And before I get back into him, 
I did want to say there is another Hunger Games boy dog. I can't remember his name right now, but it's one of the popular characters on Hunger Games. I have watched the, all those movies. I love the Hunger Games, by the way. Um, but it's one of the other characters. I just can't remember his name. They have his dog. He's articulated as well. But that dog is more expensive than Fennec. That's why I've been getting Fennec for the um for rebodying. I've been wanting the other dog too. I was just trying to see if his price would drop a little bit, even though I really want him. Um, but this is our divergent for a guy. I'm not sure what his name is, so I'm just gonna come out, make him a name, um, or whatever. It might be on the back of the box, but anyways, this is how he looks. I think that he's he's cute. He's a cute doll. Um, you know, his hair is okay. I, I guess it's supposed to be, like, curly a little bit. Um, now, the dude on the box is definitely, clearly, um, he's Latino. You see what I'm saying? They don't look alike at all. He looks more like a mixed boy. You see what I'm saying? Like, not mixed with Latina, <laughs> Latino um at all but it's all good though i think he's a cute doll i'm definitely gonna put him um on the real barbies of atlanta probably gonna be a student although he is tatted up i didn't know anybody this tatted when i was in high school but who knows maybe times have changed so he got all these symbolism going on on the back he got this looks like the tree of life who knows what the people who created him are into but that's definitely some symbols um and it oh i liked how it kind of crosses into the front that's kind of cool so and as you can see he's the same exact body type as this guy so it seems like all their black label kins are pretty much the same body then he got these pants on which aren't that bad let me see if the pockets work pockets don't work um but he does have these black pants on which looks pretty cool i could put these on with another outfit and it'll look like some some dope pants and then he has these shoes which i don't know what type of bobos these are <laughs> but yeah he got these shoes on um i'll probably paint these up and try to make them look like some jays or something i don't know but yeah he i think i think this doll is good i'm glad i got him for a discount um i'm pleased with him uh, originally when i got him i was thinking about doing a head swap but I think I'm going to keep this doll. You know what I mean? Like, he's cute and he looks young. So, I'm going to put him on the Real Barbies of Atlanta. And as you can see, they have full head mo motion movement in these bodies. Their arms are articulated. Their wrists are articulated. Um, not, not at the waist right here, but at the hips, the legs, and the feet. So, I think these dolls are pretty good um, if you're trying to articulate your kin. We don't have made-to-move kins yet, but this is the best that i found so far. And when you're doing the kin doll swap, like I said, I showed in another video how to do it. But taking off kin doll heads are way easier than taking off Barbie heads. So, don't be scared because I was scared to do it at first. I didn't know what to expect underneath. But really, I think it would be hard to damage their head. I almost forgot to mention, it does have a certificate of authenticity. Um, it says that this certifies that your Diversion 4 doll was created by designers and artists at Mattel. And all of the collector Barbies come with these things. So I wasn't going to do it, but y'all know I like my videos to be thorough. So <laughs> I'm going to do a head swap. I'm anxious to see how one of these fashionistas would look on Fennec body. So I'm going to take Matt, which is Brittany's boyfriend, and show y'all again how to do a quick head swap. They look like they have about the same size holes, even though their pegs are different. So I'm going to go ahead and swap them out. Check him out. He's cute. <laughs> the articulation just brings him to life to me. Now, this doll is slightly lighter than Matt's complexion, but no big deal because I'm limited on my options anyway. He, Matt has a more of a tan, um, but I think he looks so much better articulated. Why can't Barbie just make all their dolls like that? Like, I mean, come on. This doll, like I said, um, 
this Fennec doll used to only be like $11. So you telling me that y'all can't just make all the fashionistas like that? Come on, Mattel. Please, please stop. <laughs> like, just do better. Do better for the adult collectors. Um, but anyway, that's how he looks now. And I didn't swap my guy Fennec back to his, this stiff body. But as you can see, the complexions are slightly different. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put Fennec's head on here so that y'all can see how it looks. So that's how Phoenix. <laughs> oh, another thing about these collector dolls, they're actually taller than the fashionistas. So now I'm going to have to probably swap Ryan's head to one of these bodies. I'm going to have to figure out what doll is going to sacrifice their body um, so that Ryan can be articulated too since they're twins or whatever. But yeah, that's one of the differences as well. Hey, can you give me my body back? Because I don't think that Grace is going to like me like this. <laughs> but anyways y'all I love y'all I had to do that to show y'all real quickly um, but I love y'all talk to y'all later peace